Yeah, Diesel Johnny Boy here. Now today I want to show you how to build a hydraulic ram pump using one inch galvanised fitting. So you may have seen some of my other videos where I've used plastic components, but today we're going to show you how to construct one out of um, these are galvanised steel and brass. There's a couple of PVC parts, but the bulk of the pump is constructed out of galvanised steel. Right, so if we zoom in, we'll have a, I'm going to go through all the parts that we need here. So, firstly, to build this pump, can we zoom in on this one? We've got, we need six one inch equal nipples. These are threaded each end, so we've got six of those. We then need two equal T's, female, these are the female threaded ones here. Okay, two of those. We need two brass swing check valves. One of these is going to be our non-return valve, one of these is going to be our impulse valve. Two of those. We need a reducing bush nipple thing, yeah, one of those. Now I must say so I'm going to leave a list of the parts at the end of the video. We need an equal elbow, one inch equal elbow, female. We need two of these solvent weld, now these are called those are called basically 40 millimeter polypipe waste straight couplings. So we've got two of those. Then we need length of 40 mil polypipe waste. This is your regular waste pipe that we use in the UK. This is 40 mil or an old money, one and a half inch. And that's about 18 inches. It's not totally important the length of this. I chose an 18 inch piece. Uh, then we have two of these little things. These are called these are again polypipe 40 millimeter waste screwed access plugs. So you need two of those. We, then we need a couple of ball check valves. That's a one inch ball check valve, and that's a half inch ball check valve. On off. Uh, we have this thing here, which is your um, this is your basically your coupling for your hose, your polypipe hose to go on. That, well, that's called a um, compression male adapter, one of those. And you've got this little, this is called your hose adapter. That will screw into here eventually, so take your hose pipe for your outlet. Uh, length of PTFE tape. Um, you need a little split pin, I'll talk about that in a minute, and just a jubilee clip. Those are all the parts you need to construct a pump. So um, we're going to put the pump together now. Now when you do assemble your pump, you do need to use PTFE tape or whatever version is in your country. This is just your, like a tape you wrap around the threads. That's important to keep everything airtight. I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to assemble the pump without that, otherwise we'll be here all day filling around. So let's get and put this baby together then. Right, first of all, we'll start off with one of our equal T's, and we will put on here, we'll put on here the snifter. Now I'll just go over this to you. This is one of your one inch equal nipples, and if we look on here, all you do basically with this, you drill a very small hole in here, sort of one millimetre, or maybe two, and you put a little split pin in there. This is going to be your snifter, I'll talk about that in due course. Can, can you see that, or does that come up alright? That is that allows a little air into the pump, like I said, I'll talk about that in a minute. So we put that onto our equal T. Like that. That's our screw. So like I said, I'm just screwing these just on hand tight. Next we take another equal nipple. That screws on there. Like that. Then we have our equal female elbow. That goes on there like that. Next we're going to take another equal nipple, screw that on. Now there's the pump slowly coming together. Now there's one of our brass swing check valves. Now let me show you this inside. Can you look inside that? Inside here we've got like a flapper that swings down. Now these are normal like non-return valves, but we're using this particular one as our, as our impulse valve. In there you can see it swinging. Can you see that swinging in there? Is that sharper out in the picture? Now you must have that flapper facing downwards so if the water can freely flow down. That screws onto there. Like that. Let's 
Okay. Right, next we're gonna we're gonna take our um let's have a look at that one. Oh, yeah, we're gonna take our um our non-return. We're using this now, another swing check valve is a non-return valve, but this goes that way. So you look in here again. These got like a little rubber seal in here, so that will stop water flowing back down. These got like a little rubber seal inside of it. Can you see that? Yeah. And you must have that one so the arrow is pointing upwards. Arrow pointing downwards on that one, arrow pointing upwards on this one. So screw that on there like that. There we go. On hand tight there, hand tight. Next we're going to take another equal nipple. That screws on there. Like that. Next we take our equal elbow, let's go down there like that. Okay. Obviously this will all need tightening with a pair of um pair of water pump pliers or similar with your PTF intake. It's a little bit floppy at the moment. Now we take one of our reducing nipple bushes. That's going to screw on to the row like that. Then we have our half inch ball valve. That screws on there like that. This is going to be our outlet. Now we have our male hose adapter. This is to take your regular half inch hose pipe that screws on there. When you put your hose pipe on, you can just slip the hose pipe on over there and use it like a Jubilee clip just to clamp that in there. Next, we're going to take another equal nipple that goes on there. This is your inlet. I'm actually, I think I don't actually need that one. I don't think the No, I do need that one. It does go on there. I like to put on off valves on my pumps. You don't have to have them off. That could go straight on there if you wanted. but. I put these on off valves on there. Next, this is, this, this is like I said, this is going to be our inlet. That screws on there like that. Next, we've got our compression adapter. This is to take 20mm poly pipe as your drive pipe. Now that goes on, uh, that goes in there like that. There we go. Pump stop to get together now. Next, we take another, our last one inch equal nipple, screw that on there. There we go. Now, so there's the pump coming together quite nicely now. Now, these are the little waste inspection things. So we take one of them, we disregard that, but we don't need that part. We're just going to use this piece here. And this piece now screws onto there. This is going to be our compression chamber. That screws, so that's screws on. And now we take one of our solvent. Now what you do is you, you solvent weld on here. You paint a bit of solvent weld around that, and that slips on there like that. That creates its seal. Next we take the other bit of the, le the length of pipe, about 18 inches. That then slips down in there. Then you solvent weld that in. And then next you take your other coupler, it slips on there up there, solvent failed it again, and finally your other little coupler here, the inspection thing. And that slips on there like that. All, that, all that should be solvent welded in. And you sniff the valve down here, so if you look at some of my other videos you'll see I talk about the sniff the valve, but that just sucks a minute little bit of air in. That's how the sniff the valve here should be opposite your outlet. So there we go, that is the pump. That is your one inch galvanised hydraulic ram pump. So obviously your, out, your inlet is here, this is set downstream. The poly pipe goes on there. In theory, the best thing to use is steel as your drive pipe, because that transmits the pressure wave a lot more efficiently, but it is quite expensive and uh, Hard to, a bit harder to set up, so you can use poly pipe as your drive pipe. 
pond pipe on there, several metres going upstream, water comes rushing down in here, slams the valve shut here, momentarily you've got a great build up of pressure which is forced up your one way valve into your pressure chamber, there's a cushion of air in here, and then there's only one way for it to go and that's out this pipe here. And then you have your hose pipe on here, leading to wherever you want, pond or whatever, your tank, and that will keep on pumping. Pumps about 10 or 15 percent. The waste water then just goes back out into the stream, and the whole cycle starts again. You can you can tilt these slightly to adjust your pump rate. That 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 this will tick away a bit quicker and pump less water, while this will tick away a bit slower and pump a bit more water. But this sort of thing will run with a three foot drop. So you, you need about a three foot or one meter drop to run these pumps. And uh, now tomorrow, weather permitting, I'm going to try and set this pump up in my garden and I shall do another video of it running. But all your parts here, apart from this bit here, this part here is available to any plumber's merchant. This is just your one and a half inch waste pipe, but all these other component parts here are from an excellent firm based in Britain, and it's called T-Max Express. Can you get in on that? So that, what have you got here? You've got www.t-max.co.uk Now they'll supply you with all these parts, it's an excellent company, they've got a good, good product range of all different pipes and valves and basically all you need to build your hydraulic round pump, apart from the bit of waste here, this bit of pipe here, which they may even do that, but that's so cheap you can buy that anywhere. Um, yeah, so yeah, there's Marcus over at T-Max, he'd be happy to help you out with all your parts for your round pump. Um, the, the part, I worked out the parts to build this pump, I made a bit of, I made a bit of this, what I think I want to do is I'll, I'll put this at the bottom uh, of the pump, I'll put that in a little message at the bottom. All the pot parts to build this pump come to about £62, so you can build yourself a hydraulic round pump for about £62, that's everything all in. Apart from the hose pipe, which you can get quite cheap from the garden centre. So there you go. That's Diesel Johnny Boy wishing you good luck with your round pump construction. Great to hear any comments and feedback. Like I said, I'm just having a bit of fun here, so there we go. If you need to pump water and you've got to do the stream, get out and build yourself a round pump. Alright? Diesel Johnny Boy signing out. Bye.